I want to break down why I use butter and why I think it's better than lotion or oil. that it comes down to is this basic idea that there are two main tissues that we as massage therapists work on. We are soft tissue experts and we work on muscle tissue and we work on connective tissue. So muscle tissue is this tissue that really wants to contract and relax. It has these fibers in it. You guys all know this, but you know, just to review, it has these fibers in it that want to pull together and then want to release. Get short and then they get long. Contract and they elongate. Connective tissue on the other hand is the stuff that just sticks everything to everything else. And you know, it's everywhere in the body. I like to describe connective tissue as this like Elmer's glue that if I were to take my head and I were to like rip it open and pour Elmer's glue over everything, it's the coating that would line everything. So it, it surrounds your muscles, it surrounds your bones, it surrounds your organs, it surrounds your vessels, your blood vessels, your lymph vessels, your what other vessels are there? What other vessels are there? You know what I'm talking about. So connective tissue wants to stick, it wants to hold everything up. And you've got these two things that are very different from each other. You've got a tissue that wants to stick and a tissue that wants to like contract and relax. So when I work with a lotion or an oil, I'm just rolling over that stuff and I'm sliding over that stuff and I'm not really creating an effect. That's like the biggest thing that I had the hardest time getting around and what drove me to start making my own butter and using butter. So there's a million different butters out there and it's really easy to make and I encourage you to make your own, but if you don't want to, if you don't have the time, if you've found that you've tried and you just don't like it, Click on this, check it out. I think butter is the best thing on the planet, and here's why. So here's what I wanna explain. If I hold my arm up here, I'm gonna make sure this is in focus, I can't really tell. So if I hold my arm up here, and I take my other hand, and I use my fingers to slide over my skin, I'm rolling over muscle tissue, or I'm sliding over skin, and I'm not releasing the connective tissue, and I'm not sinking down to what's underneath that stuck connective tissue. So all of this work, isn't really doing what it could be doing and it's not having that really deep effect that it could have. So I've got some of my butter here. I've got Sore Loser. It is the perfect thing for my arms because my arms are sore a lot. I use them a lot so I'm just going to take a tiny, tiny bit out. This is even too much. See, this is why I love it so much. You only need the tiniest amount. And as I start to work it in, it starts to get really warm and that warmth is what helps connective tissue to start to melt. So Friction is easy with butter, and friction is gonna help the connective tissue melt down, which I really, really love. I'm rolling over and I'm loosening up a lot of that stuff, but as it starts to absorb a little bit, and as I start to spread it around, it's got way more friction. It's got way more, it's got way more grip. And somebody who bought this butter actually kind of labeled the word gription and said it had great gription, and I feel like that's the perfect word because what it's doing is it's gripping. As I sink in and I slide, it's gripping into the skin. So you can really see this, right? My, you, I'm actually moving my skin as opposed to just kind of rolling over the skin. And it's taking the skin and pulling it away from the muscles underneath, which I feel like is the most fantastic feeling and the most healing thing that we can do. We wanna be able to pull that connective tissue away so we get down to the muscles underneath and the muscles are the things that are often the most sore. And this is why it can be so confusing what we're working on and what our focus is and how it sometimes feels like we're doing all of this work but maybe not having the right effect. So a lot of the work that we do is so much more about the combination of knowing the difference between how to work connective tissue and how to work muscle tissue and how to combine those two efforts so that you are completing your work efficiently and productively and actually creating some sense of healing. Oh God, I love this stuff. So I don't know if all of that was anything that you guys already knew or didn't know or needed to hear, but it's something that I obsess about. I think about it constantly. And I think that even if you're not a massage therapist and you're watching this video, it's really good to understand what our soft tissue is doing because we often have pain and we don't understand it and we don't know to ask the right questions. And when we go to the doctor, the doctor doesn't really understand soft tissue either. So this is a whole kind of like understanding of how things can get stuck and how things can create pain and how we can actually maneuver through that without all of the fear and the panic that comes along with pain that we don't understand sometimes. I also wanna add really quickly that if you think about this and you think about where the bigger muscles are in the body, like the quads and the glutes and all the muscles in the back, um, and you treat the muscles like muscle tissue and then you think about where the connective tissue is thicker, like the bottom of the foot and the side of the leg down the IT band stuff, and the palm of the hand, right? So we can create friction and we can create heat where there 
should be heat and that starts to melt as opposed to digging in and trying to dig out a trigger point which is going to exist in the muscle. You've got to pull away the connective tissue before you get down to the trigger points and then the trigger points can be dealt with with trigger point therapy which you know maybe I should make a whole nother video about that. Hey so is that a vlog? <laughs> Alright you guys see you next time.